It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 26th. But you know, the timing is fluid, this could happen at any time. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for whenever it resonates? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? The chariot. Wow, this is mastering emotions, going for a ride, going someplace, uh, leaving something behind, dealing with opposition, uh, being in control, taking your power back, replacing fear with faith. Um, looks like these somebody's moving fast because these these horses seem to be moving very fast. We have determination here. Somebody is very, very determined to win. They're determined to be successful. They're determined to get what they want. So this is strong determination. Very, very determined. Could be dealing with a cancer. Um, this Somebody has their mind made up, okay? And they are on the move. So somebody definitely is going someplace. It looks like they're going pretty fast. Um, definitely on the move. Hangman reversed, so letting go of ego could be. We need to get another card to go with this because this can go both ways. This is refusing to change as well. Refusing to change, refusing to take another approach. Uh, but this is uh, determined, so interesting. Let's get a card to go with that. Ooh, Queen of Swords reverse. So we may have an individual that is hard to deal with. The Queen of Swords in reverse is hard to love. Okay, she is hard to love because she doesn't trust. She doesn't trust. She's been hurt. Okay. Um, there could be a, a lack of communication. Not really communicating. The hangman reversed. This, this is uh, not going in, struggling to let go. Somebody is struggling to let go. They're fighting something. They're fighting their inner selves. Somebody may be hiding something. Now the Queen of Swords in reverse is may have a one-track mind. Doesn't trust. Not trusting at all. Page of Swords. Now, this is a difficult communication. So there is some sort of difficult communication here. So there's, there's like, there could be a loss of words, or somebody's really not communicating very well. This is not thinking clearly. Lack of clarity. The Queen of Swords in reversed. Um, could be bitter. The Queen of Swords in reverse could be bitter. The Page of Swords is difficult communication, um, expecting trouble. Somebody could be expecting some sort of trouble. Now, the, 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 when the Queen of Swords in reverse does communicate, it may be harsh. She may be very harsh in her communication if she does communicate. The Queen of Swords can also be vindictive. And the Page of Swords is... Uh, there could be a message that is coming. A message is coming from somebody that has some harsh words. Okay, these are harsh words. Or words that you just don't want to hear. This is a difficult message. Okay? There could be a mild conflict. Maybe even a little bit more than mild. I don't know. When you get the Queen of Swords in reverse, she may be... She could be nasty. Um... This person doesn't look very happy. And they have some sort of news. So there is some sort of news that is coming. It may not be good news. And it could be, uh, you know, it could be about a nasty individual. There could be some lies. Uh, something is going on here. This is hiding something as well. 
Somebody is hiding something. Somebody isn't telling the truth. But there is another person that has the truth. Do you know what I'm saying? This could even be a child that says something about their stepmother or their mother or somebody that they're dealing with. They, 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 they tell a person's lies. You know, this could be somebody that reveals the truth about an individual that is lying. So there could be some truth that is coming out. Um, the hangman reverse is struggling to let go. Interesting. Needing to take a break, needing a time out. And this is needing a time out as well. Somebody needs a timeout. Somebody needs a timeout, or they may need a break. They need a break. They need to take a break. They may be, there could be some sort of exhaustion here. This is big determination. Determined to, I don't know, maybe break free because the hangman reverse. Somebody may be breaking free from something, or they need to break free. They need to find their willpower and their discipline to break free from. Something, I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse is an individual that, and it could be a man or a woman, this is an individual that is very hard to love, okay? They don't communicate well, and when they do communicate, it's very mean. This is a mean-spirited individual right here in reversed, and it could be any sign. I'm reading the energy, okay? So there is going to be some words that are said that probably... Uh, causes a conflict Ooh, queen of cups so the queen of cups is uh, somebody that this is a this is a, a healer or a lover somebody that is very kind and gentle that is emotionally available this is headed towards somebody that is emo because this is headed headed towards some and they may somebody may have manifested because this this is i mean meditating is kind of like manifesting it really is so during a period of solitude these are both solitude somebody may have manifested something they have they may have they may have manifested something more more loving this one right here is isn't very nice There's definitely some curiosity here. We have we have somebody that is very curious about a new opportunity here. They are watching. They're watching. Okay, they are watching somebody that has a really big heart. Okay, they're watching this person. But behind them, they have a nasty individual that per they may be scared of this person. Okay, this person is scary. They are. Trust me. Anyhow, but we have this lover here that is being watched. Okay, this one is a healer of some sort. Could be a psychic, an intuitive, a nurse, a counselor, a caregiver. Whoever it is, this person has a really big heart. Beautiful. Being watched. So this beautiful individual is being watched. And she may, they're, they're, this is a card of transformation. The, the chariot is a card of transformation. This could be the same person that is going through a transformation and it definitely okay this but this here somebody may have went through a transformation you know from uh, bitch to uh, beautiful you know that could be the case um now this is determined to win determined to be successful Ooh, looking for a relationship, happiness, happily ever after. So we have a, we, this is strength. I mean, the chariot is a card of strength. Somebody is determined to have that happily ever after, determined to do whatever it takes. This four of swords, though, is exhausted, needing to take a break. They may have already taken a break. They, you know, they may have needed to become enlightened. There's definitely some watching going on, some spying or observation. We have some observation going on. 
observing uh, this beauty, whoever this beauty is. Justice. Justice, justice, justice is a decision, a final decision. Somebody is headed towards uh, something that is going to balance them, that is going to, that's what they deserve. They're headed towards what they deserve. They're headed towards justice. They're headed towards um, getting what they deserve. This is, this is uh, the truth. This is something about the truth. The truth coming out. The truth. The Four of Swords is taking a break, but this is the truth coming out. Telling the truth. Speaking the truth. Somebody is going to be speaking up. They've taken some sort of break, though. They've taken a break. But it feels like, and there's been definitely a lack of, somebody wasn't telling the truth over here. They weren't very awakened, or they aren't very awakened, but they're going through some sort of transformation. And maybe they're opening their heart or something like that. This justice card is, a, is uh, about balance. And it's, it's, things are balanced, things are going to get balanced. Better things are going to get better. Things are about to balance out. Somebody is going to get the relationship that they deserve, and they're going to go after the relationship that they deserve. Okay, so this is moving towards the relationship that they deserve because justice is about all about getting what you deserve, good or bad. So. This is about being honest and upfront. Moving very, very quickly towards justice. Now, this is a happy relationship. God. So we have the Four of Wands reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. There's been a lot of gossip. There's been a lot of gossip. There's been a lot of talking. There's there have you get three queens in a reading, there's gossip around. People are talking. You know? People are talking. And this is uh the honeymoon is over. The party is over. This is it's got time to clean up this mess. This is messy. It's time to clean up this mess. This is a very stubborn individual. We definitely have a stubborn individual. Definitely very stubborn. A very, very stubborn individual who uh, wasn't very awakened or isn't very awakened that is going through a transformation. And you notice the temperance in reverse on the bottom. They, they have not evolved or they hadn't evolved. And it's like they won't change or they couldn't change or they wouldn't change, but they're, they're determined to... to uh, find balance. They're determined to do something. They're determined to uh, heal. This is a healer. Anyhow, this Four of Swords reverse. This is uh, sacrificing themselves for the wrong relationship, for the wrong commitment. Somebody's been sacrificing themselves, wasting time, refusing to let go of a previous relationship. That's what this is. And there's a new opportunity for another relationship. Somebody has been refusing to let go of a relationship. A partnership. They have. And there and it hasn't been happy. They probably somebody has been hanging on to the wrong relationship because of stubbornness or assets or bitterness or hate or uh, the need to prove something. Somebody needed to prove something. All the while, they've been watching somebody else. They have been watching and observing somebody else.
this person, there's one person over here that is very jealous and possessive and definitely hard to love. But I think this could be one person as well that, but, but also has a very big heart. Anyway, there is a message that is coming. It's going to be a message that makes you feel conflicted. It is. It's a message that brings conflict to your mind. Okay? It makes you feel um, unsure. Okay? So there's a message that comes. Okay? From somebody that is determined. They are determined. They are determined to bring balance. They are determined to act with integrity. To do the right thing. Somebody is determined to do the right thing. They, and it has to do with happily ever after. It has to do with a relationship. There may have been a break. There may have been a break. But I feel like somebody is coming and they're going to be speaking up. They're going to be speaking the truth. Whatever that means, I feel like they're going to be speaking the truth. They've gained some sort of enlightenment that they needed through this break. This break enlightened them. You know what I'm saying? They've learned something. They could have gotten some karma. Somebody may have gotten some karma. You know, karma never loses an address. And they, because this is punishment. The hangman is punishment. They may have been, they may be, somebody may have gotten some sort of karmic punishment. This is cleaning up a mess and bringing balance to a relationship. So there's going to be a difficult conversation that happens. This is an individual that is determined, definitely determined, determined to, it feels like fix it. This person was very stubborn. They were very, and this was ego. This is very egotistical. The hangman reversed. I mean, the hangman is, is, I'm telling you what, we have a very egotistical individual that I feel like this egotistical individual has learned some sort of karmic lesson. And now they, they probably want to restore balance by uh, coming clean or whatever this is. This is like coming clean. I don't, I don't know. What that is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know why I'm saying that. But that's what I feel like it is. So, um, but this could also, I mean, for some of you, this is, this is, an, the chariot comes in very fast. This is uh, willpower, determination, mental strength to transform a situation. Seriously, this is getting in the driver's seat and going someplace. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to find my strength to do this. I'm going to find the determination and the willpower and the mental strength to do what I have to do and it has have to do with integrity because this is an integrity. So somebody is going to be coming forth and acting with integrity after taking a break of some sort, after wasting time and sacrificing and and, and maybe it wasn't wasted time because they had to learn something. But this has to do with a relationship. It has to do with a um, commitment of some sort. Okay, on both sides of this justice card, we have commitment. So, so it does have to do with a commitment uh, of some sort. Um, this person is watching, they are observing, and they are about to say something. Swords. Oh my God! The Five of Swords. This is a this is an individual that uh, wanted to win at all costs and didn't care who they hurt. This is uh, somebody that betrayed another person to the highest degree, and I feel like this this person that did the betraying had a humongous ego, humongous, and wanted just had a 
you know, had to win at all costs because their ego was so big. But now, and now that they've pushed the other person away, they're alone. They don't, nobody, nobody likes them anymore. It's like nobody likes them. Nobody uh, wants to work with them. They, they, nobody trusts them. It's like, and there's a lot of gossip. The word is going around of, of, about what they did. And it's embarrassing. So I feel like the only way to fix this is to come clean. There could be even an apology. Oh my God, Eight of, this could be an apology. Eight of Cups reverse. I just saw it. So yes, there definitely could be an apology. Somebody could be coming back to fix things. Or they may, if you're still in the relationship, they could be trying to fix things. How can we fix this? So, um, be prepared. Be prepared to receive a message from somebody that has been watching. They have been watching. They are very curious. They know that they will have to uh, tell the truth. And I know that they, they're probably scared. Of the <laughs> I would be too. Because the Queen of Swords is very, you know, she's hard to deal with. Especially in reverse. Especially when she's been burned. But with the Chariot, you know, that's somebody that is determined. And has the mental strength to succeed. The Chariot leads to success with the truth. So if this person comes with the truth, there is a good chance for success. A successful relationship, for happiness, for happily ever after. So this could be somebody that is coming back. Okay, the Eight of Cups reverse could be somebody that is coming back. Um, they've been pretending to be happy. Okay, um, they've been staying put. They've been avoiding. They've been avoiding the truth. Okay, um... This could also be somebody that is leaving and they've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And they've been involved with the wrong one, okay? Because it's thinking about leaving an emotionally disappointing situation. And I do see that as well. Somebody has been in a commitment with somebody that they aren't in love with. They aren't. They're in love with somebody else. They've been watching somebody else. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stories right here. We could go all day. But this is the Five of Swords. Is do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? What's it going to be? Because being right all the time isn't going to make you happy because nobody wants to be around you. So this is the choice that you have to make. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And that's what, where this battle started from the beginning. The power struggle started from wanting to be right. Very stubborn, egotistical individual here who had to be right that has, is, has lost it all. So anyway, there is definitely a chance for to fix a relationship that probably had, you know, taken a break. It's where there's a chance to... Um, bring balance back to the situation or if you want to think talk about the other group of people this is like a split i mean the four of wands reversed go filing for divorce <laughs> whatever you know it, we could go all day with these cards but there is definitely uh, we have a, a lover here we do have a lover here who is being watched she is. She has a very big heart. She is being watched. And I think she's being watched by somebody that took a break. Somebody that pushed her away. And I think there's a choice. There's definitely a choice. I think there's a choice between at least two or three people here. There is. There's a choice between two or three people here. And I think we have an individual that is making their choice. This is the final decision. Justice is the final decision. They're making the decision. So be prepared, if this reading is for you, to hear a message that makes you feel 
conflicted because that's the page of swords that is a message of conflict that is coming and you may struggle you may struggle with uh, what decision you're going to make good luck